Well, hey, Resonate, Pastor Curtis here. Every week or so, I'll do a reflection. It might be on uh, uh, something about the Sunday sermon or the service or something that's going on in the world. Um, sometimes it's just um, some kind of uh, weird little thing that, uh, that I'm wondering about or have been wondering about or, or you've been wondering about. You know, um, there's uh, this song that we sing on Sunday mornings, and uh, it, it's a really great song. Um, it's called Graves Into Gardens, and uh, we were singing it again this last Sunday for, um, you know, uh, we, we've sung this song multiple, multiple times, and I was sitting there, or standing there rather, and I was wondering, um, do, you know, do do we all know what this song means? Because um, sometimes the lyrics are a little bit obscure, but the uh, it's a great song. But one of the lyrics is, um, you turn graves into gardens, you turn bones into armies, you turn seas into highways, you're the only one who can. And uh, I was just wondering, you know, do, do we all know what we're um, singing about there? So just thought I'd take a, look, uh, take a moment to look at that. Um, Actually, the the graves in the gardens. You know, there's a couple times in uh, in scripture where um, somebody was raised back to life, but um, oftentimes the uh, when you look at the example of um, even of of our Lord. Um, you know the uh, the tombs oftentimes are referred to as being garden tombs, and so you think about that uh, when you know when Jesus was raised back to life um, through the power of God, the power of the Spirit. Um, it, it was no longer a grave; it was just turning it back into a garden again. So uh, uh, you know he turns graves into gardens, no longer a grave. Then he turns bones into armies. That one's kind of a weird one, isn't it? But um, as you, when you read through the the uh, the Old Testament book of Ezekiel, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, prophetic um, uh, uh, imagery in Ezekiel, and actually, uh, it, it, when you read it, the Lord takes uh, this prophet Ezekiel and uh, and um, shows him something prophetic. He shows him. This uh, this valley of bones, and uh, he says, "Prophesy to it," and he does, and the bones um, come to life with tendon and skin, and uh, and um, that is meant to that for Ezekiel. That was meant to show him that this um, this um, people who were who were dead spiritually in Israel at that time could come back to life, and so God was just showing. Um, showing Ezekiel that kind of in a vision. Um, and then you turn seas into highways, of course, um, when the Israelites were coming out of Egypt, they were backed up against uh, the Red Sea and the waters parted and it became a highway. Um, same as when they were going into the Promised Land, um, the Lord parted the Jordan River and made it into dry land so they could walk across. But really, it, it's all these examples, graves into gardens, bones into armies, seas into highways, is just meant to show us the the power of uh, of our God. Yes, these are miraculous things, um, but miraculous things can happen in your life and my life as well when we recognize how powerful our God is and, uh, and we ask him for help. We Ask him to uh, to show us the way, um, and he does. He's the only one who can, is what the song says. So I hope you'll uh, you'll be encouraged this week um, to uh, just trust God with everything, um, because uh, He's so powerful. He can make things happen, um, uh, e even when we feel like there's there's no other way. He can make a way for you and for me. So that's why we sing that song. Um, don't forget. Um, Read Matthew 5 and 6 and 7 um, this week and keep reading it for the next couple of weeks. We want to look at the, um, uh, the Sermon on the Mount to look for uh, who Jesus really is. Um, and as we've been, been looking at the, the, um, the uh, bread of life and, uh, and him being living water, um, check out Matthew 5 and 6 and 7 in the Sermon on the Mount and, uh, and I hope you'll be encouraged as your relationship, your personal relationship with Jesus grows. All right, have a great week, and we'll see you Sunday.